the only of Ife Obadeye Ogun will see one's all stakeholders to allow for peace and tranquility to reign supreme in Nigeria, especially during this electionary period in the country. Obadeye will see who spoke in the lay fair while playing host to drummers across Yoruba land on the occasion of the year 2022 Ayogalu Festival. The first to be celebrated in Ilay Fair described the drum as a vital tool for communicating peaceful coexistence globally. Also, the Ayogalu ambassador, Princess Ronke Ademiluyi, commended Oni for celebrating the deity, disclosed that over 200 children will be trained during a planned workshop on how to make drums and how to become a drummer with a view to sustaining the traditional drumming culture of Ayogalu. Some of the drummers who participated in the festival described it as an essentially and uniquely significant communicative aspect of the Yoruba culture. We are like the barometer for the next electioneering campaign in Nigeria. In Oshu, our election is coming up within the next two to three weeks and um, that will lead to the major election in Nigeria by next year, January. On this note, we know that things are very hard. We know that everywhere in Nigeria is sort of hard as far as security is concerned. So we're using the drum and the celebration of Ayagalu to communicate that we should continue to foster and look for peace and peaceful coexistence. Ayagalu, um, the, the, the patron deity of the drumming is the one we're celebrating today. We're remembering her. And aside from that, His Majesty is an advocate for gender equality. In the time of peace, there is kind of the way, there are kind of um, adage proverbs that they beat with talking drum that shows that this, there is no problem. So, and aside from that, you know, people also use talking drum for festivals. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.